Alright guys, welcome to your 11th UDK tutorial, and in this tutorial, now that we got our floor built, it's time to start putting up some walls. So, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to envision that we're building a little house here, and instead of putting up four walls that cover the entire length and the entire width of this house, I'm going to leave some space in front for, you know, a front deck or a front porch, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not going to be just enclosing this totally, I'm going to be leaving some space for a porch. I think that will make things a little more interesting. So let's go ahead and the first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and build these short walls right here. As you know we got a short length and a long length or aka width and length. So I'm going to be taking care of those shorter walls first. So go ahead and we first want to make sure that we first want to check the properties of our floor to make sure the dimensions on what we should build our short wall. So we already know the width of this is 1024 and that's this right here, the X. So we can go ahead and leave that right there. We already know that the length of it is, let's see what it is, 1280. And check it out, since we're building a short wall, we only want to have the length be like 32. So let's go ahead and change this to 32. And now for Z, Z is the height. Now we can pick anything we want for height. I'm going to make my walls, let's just say, 576 tall. So let's go ahead and if we build this and X out of it, we can see that this is a pretty good height. So we could go ahead and position this wall in this perspective view right here. But as you can see, it's kind of confusing. So it would probably be better to do this. Go ahead and in your front view, go ahead and drag this up until your wall sits exactly on the base of your floor. That's probably the easiest either using this side view in the top left or front view where you can position your wall. Another thing you want to do is you want to slide it all the way back to your very back corner. And probably if we scroll in here, let me just drag up a little bit, we can position this wall exactly on the very back edge. So that way you can see that these graph views, as I like to call them, they aren't totally useless. I know they don't look really pretty, but whenever we're doing precision movement, they actually come in handy. So with that being said, my wall looks good in all my angles. Let me verify this, top view, front view, side view, and perspective view, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit CSG add and add my wall right there. Now let me go ahead and show you guys a little trick. In order to build another wall. Let me go ahead and actually maybe I'll change the angle of this a little bit. Right there it might look good. In order to build another wall we basically need an exact duplicate of this. So what we can do is we can take this red builder brush and we can move it and we can build it again. But I want to teach you guys a little trick. In order to make an exact copy of a shape you already have go ahead and select that shape and now if you go ahead and hold alt on your keyboard and go ahead and drag it forward we can get an exact copy of that shape so let me go ahead and hit release there and that actually looks pretty good right there I actually want to drag it back just a bit let's see I probably want to drag it back uh, I don't know maybe right there and actually I hit alt again so let's go ahead and drag that back right there and I think it looks pretty good right there. I want to get it lined up perfectly. So this gives us enough space for a porch right here and also it gives us a nice space for the inside right here. So you're saying, all right, Bucky. So what you did is you dragged that wall, but we're not having a duplicate wall. So the reason behind that is because remember, in a couple tutorials ago, I told you guys, any time you update your geometry, you have to rebuild it. So go ahead and build geometry for visible level and close that. And whenever we do that, we see we indeed get a wall. Pretty cool, huh? So now let me tell you guys another little trick. So before, what we needed to do is we needed to calculate how big, how tall. We pretty much needed to calculate the size of the wall. Well, now what we need to do is we need to figure out the length between this wall right here and this wall right here. So what we could do is, you know, maybe we want to go to the grid and count yada 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 yada. Maybe this grid will be easier to count, but I want to show you guys a nice little shortcut. In order to measure two distances on your grid, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and select a point on your grid and then hold the middle mouse button. And this middle mouse button is kind of like a tape measure. Go ahead and click it and hold it and drag it 
And now once you start dragging it, you can see that, all right, the distance between these two walls is 896. So that's how long I need to make my third wall. Again, one more time, anytime you want to measure the point between two points, or the distance between two points rather, hold your middle mouse button and drag, and it's kind of like a virtual tape measure, 896, that's how big I need to make it. And just to verify, 896 divided by 32, that divides evenly, so makes sense. So now let's go ahead and select our red builder brush and go ahead and right click it. And now let's go ahead and change this. So the length, X, remember, if we scroll down here, we can see that the length, or X, is gonna be pretty much the width of the wall. So we wanna change that to 32. And now the Y, that's the length we calculated. That's the 896. And also that Z, the Z shouldn't change because remember, Z is height. And again, if you get confused, look down here in the bottom left hand corner and that's gonna give you an idea of what X, Z, and Y means. So it's 32 thickness, the length is 896, and the height, just like the other wall, is 576. So go ahead and hit build, what did I say, build? Well, not, uh, not the funniest thing to say, but all right. So we can, like I said, position this in the perspective view right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and position mine in the top view. So go ahead and move this over to the top view, scroll in, make sure it's positioned nicely. And another thing I wanna do is in my side view, check it out, it's not exactly hitting the ground. So go ahead and move this down in our side view. And if we look in all our views right now, we can see that this wall is perfectly lined up on its side, on the front, on the top, and it looks pretty dang good in our perspective view too. So go ahead and hit CSG add, and it's gonna add that geometry. Pretty cool, huh? So now let's go ahead and get our red builder brush out of the way. And what I wanna do is go ahead and highlight this in our side view, and I'm gonna use that copy shortcut again. So actually, is this the best view to do so? Well, let's go ahead and do this. Let's move our red builder brush out of the way right here. And probably the top view would be the easiest, although you could do it in the side view. Again, like I said, anytime you want to copy this wall exactly, highlight the wall. Make sure you don't have your red builder brush selected. Make sure you have your wall selected and the outline will be blue. Hold down Alt on your keyboard and go ahead and drag it until it ends up where you want to copy it and go ahead and let go. So if we go ahead and scroll in, we can verify that, actually, I messed up a little bit. Let's go ahead and drag that till it matches up. And make sure you verify in all of your angles, the front view, the side view, and the top view, and also might as well just verify in the perspective view. That looks good. And once it does, you're ready to move on. So the last thing you probably want to do is build this. So go ahead and build your geometry. And indeed, we get a nice looking house with four walls. Again, what I'm gonna be doing in the upcoming tutorials is I'm gonna be adding a door in front and you know maybe add them some pillars for the porch and of course we need a roof as well or else it's gonna rain on us. So we have a basic shape of a house done. A couple things you need to take away from this tutorial is make sure if you ever get confused you don't know what length, width, height is go ahead and just look in the bottom left and that's gonna give you the idea of what X, Y, and Z is. And also, anytime you wanna copy, make sure to hold Alt on your keyboard and drag the shape that you wanna copy. And you're not gonna see it at first until you rebuild your geometry, so make sure your geometry is rebuilt. So there we have the beginning of our nice little house. It kinda of looks like a Super Mario Brothers top hat. You know how his hat's like kinda of square? Anyways, I'm just talking to myself. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.